Hey guys, it's BNB again and another video. In this tutorial, we will learn some information about the color sensor TCS3200 and TCS32010 and how to use it with an Arduino board. So starting with the sensor, it has some basic constituents like the interface header in the left and right side of the PCB, then the mounting holes, four white LEDs, the sensor cover, and for sure the sensor TCS3200 or TCS3210. This kind of sensors are a programmable color light to frequency converters that combine configurable silicon photodiodes and a current to frequency converter on a single monolithic CMOS integrated circuit. So the output is a square wave with a 50% duty cycle representing the frequency directly proportional to the light intensity or let's say the color irradiance. But how to convert light to frequency? Well to do so the TCS reads a 4x6 array of photodiodes for TCS3210 or an 8x8 array for TCS3200. We are using the TCS3210 so it will be 6 photodiodes with blue filters, 6 photodiodes have green filters, 6 photodiodes have red filters and the last 6 are clear with no filters. So the output signal of our sensor comes from the photodiodes. Okay, but still another question. How could we select the photodiodes that we need to identify a color? Actually, all photodiodes of the same color are connected in parallel and pins S2 and S3 are used to select which group of photodiodes, red, green, blue or clear, are active. So all what we need to do is choosing one of these combinations to sense the desired color. Then read the signal sent by the TCS converter with a scalable frequency that can be adjusted through pins S0 and S1 by one of the following combinations. So here is the task. First we need to have the reflected color light from the white LEDs then we will get the light projected on the photodiodes array. But here we have to choose different combinations to get the appropriate data that will be sent to the current to frequency converter. For sure after setting its frequency parameters. And last but not least we will get a square signal transfer directly to the microcontroller. In our case we are using an Arduino board where we have another assignment there by identifying the color from the received signal. It's easy, you see, so enough talking and let's go and try some electronics. Now here is the sensor. The first thing that we need to do is preparing it by soldering the connectors. Now our connectors are ready, the next step is adjusting the white LED placement in order to have more contact with the sensitive zone. Ok now the sensor is ready, let's wire it to our board by following the circuit. Now it's time to write some instruction lines, but before start programming just take a sheet of paper or open a blank excel file and make this array. Now go back to the Arduino IDE and tell the board about the pins that we will use. So we have the S0 connected to pin 22, S1 connected to 23 etc. And we have a global variable here where we will store our data. Moving to the void setup. All S pins are outputs and the sensor data is an input pin. Now configure the serial bolt rate and choose a 100% frequency for the output frequency scale of our converter by setting pins S0 and S1 to high. 
done with the setup. Now moving to the functional loop. Okay, we will write some simple commands here like setting pins S2 and S3 to low, which allows us to sense the red color so the variable data will store the returned value of pulse in function that takes two parameters. The first one is a digital pin. In our case, we will be uh, it will be the sensor data pin, and the second one is a logic level, and we will use the low logic. Now the pulse in function will return a numeric value that represents the number of milliseconds between two identical and successive logic levels. So we choose the logic level low. Now the Arduino will wait until the configured pin, I mean the sensor data pin turns to low, then start counting time till the pin switch to high. If you need to know more about the pulse in function, just read the description mentioned in the Arduino website. After sorting the red color data, we'll display it through the serial monitor. And we will do the same thing for the green and the blue colors by changing the S2 and S3 combination. Now let's compile and upload the code. Done uploading. As you see, the white LEDs are on now. So let's open the serial monitor and discover what our sensor is giving us. These are the clear appropriate data. Now we will use a color and we will write the appropriate data in our table. But you should notice that each color has three data the red, green, and the blue. Okay, that code is really useful to determine the color data that we store in our table here. But don't forget the main purpose, which is sensing the color. So let's have more fun with this. I will add an LED RGB that will take the same sensed color. Okay, we will change some instruction lines by configuring the LED RGB pins. and we will use three global variables this time to have the three parameters. We will write four functions to verify the sensed color. For example, the first one, check if the sensed color is the red color and returns true if the red data is in between these values the green data and uh, the blue one. Well, you can ask from where we got these values simply from the table after adding a range of motion more or less three. Repeat the same thing for the green, blue and yellow colors. Then go back to the loop function. And make these tests. So if it's red, write this message in the serial monitor and turn the LED to red. And it's the same thing for the green, blue and the yellow colors. Now compile the code and upload it, then test it.
Here we are, the sensor starts identifying colors, and as you see, the LED is following the sensed color. So guys, that's it for this video. Do not hesitate to post your questions and comments. Last thing, make sure that you're doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.